So hello everybody. I am the last meeting before the coffee break, so I will try to be uh, on the point and quick. So uh, I'm Asteria Maradu. I'm head of uh, e-learning for the CIPOL, and I'm going to present today our uh, big project on uh, Moodle Workplace that is called uh, LEAD. Before uh, I start, I will have to say some few words for the CIPOL, what it is, because this actually uh, has um, created all the requirements concerning how the LEAD is working. So uh, CIPOL is an EU training agency for law enforcement, and we work from 2000 uh, in the uh, European Union. And we started in uh, 2001 as a, a, con a consort of a uh, different a network. I have to come here, I don't see. Sorry. <laughs> as a network of uh, national police academies and organizations around Europe. And now we are officially an EU agency with uh, broader responsibilities. What is our vision? Our main vision has to do with law enforcement officers across Europe and has to do with uh, uh, improving their skills in order to find the crimes of, uh, and prevent the crimes of today and tomorrow. And this leads to our mission, that is logical, to have against serious and organized crime, terrorism and emerging security threats. This means that the content we have inside the platform has to do specifically with this type of information. This is the reason that we have a very restricted platform. And it's not allowed for uh, registering any, any, anyone outside of uh, the specific uh, requirements. From 2023, we have a new strategy. And uh, we have four main uh, uh, targets on this. We have to become the EU hub for law enforcement agents. Uh, we are uh, working for a common law enforcement culture through training promote accreditation that is very important to us in law enforcement vocational training and excel at governments as a model EU agency. This is our training portfolio. It's not different as usual. We have online, on-site, and we also have exchanges that actually cover the part of the on-job training. And also, in order to provide what is required, according to EU, we have to, to follow the specific quality standards for which we are certified as an EU agency. And now I'm going to start speaking about our platform. Our platform is called LEAD, and it's actually the acronyms of Law Enforcement Education. As you understand, everything is about law enforcement. You see how it starts. It's a very customized platform, starting from the landing page that has uh, thematic areas and has specific uh, functionalities in order to work for our specific uh, law enforcement agents. We have a branded mobile app dedicated to CIPOL. And we launched during COVID. The first the day that the platform was up was the 31st of April 2020. And we launched the platform during COVID with a very difficult situation of a team working online and trained online without having any face-to-face -face communication. We always have the, the latest um, stable version. And this is why we have a very specific schedule concerning how we do the upgrades. And this is how we work concerning the security. And as you see, we do have uh, two upgrades each year. One, the minor, uh, it's running universally in January because we don't have enough time for testing for anything that we have. And July, we have usually the major upgrades. So we do have one month, August, that is usually for a vacation, but we have the testing in order to be able to support the next academic year starting from January. In the meantime, we always have every two months at least a security update because we always have to have standards concerning the security and always work in the most uh, um, updated information on this. I have some information concerning the security. I will not be on details because I'm not security oriented, but I have to uh, uh, say about the WAF, the web application firewall, that is a very important asset we have underneath the platform in order to uh, help us uh, in uh, any attacks on the internet. As you understand, the EU agency plus uh, that the CIPOL is uh, near Ukraine, that we have the war. It's a very uh, interesting place for attacks, and it's a very vulnerable environment. So we have increased the security during the time. You see, we have also applied the MFA authentication, multi-factor authentication, in order to get in the platform. So we have two steps inside in order to, to log in. You will see later I have some print screens concerning this. 
And we do always have a disaster recovery plan, and uh, we uh, execute every for every each upgrade. We have a thirty U, the company that is from uh, European Union, checking on us if there is any vulnerability before applying something and opening it to everybody. Now, what we have in lead? Now we have more than fifty thousand active accounts. Uh, we have a lot of trainings coming inside the platform that are actually closed for our restricted law enforcement environment. And in order to get in some of them, you should be nominated from specific um, managers of its country. This is the sort of information and content we have inside. As you see, we have even the on-site courses do have a, a specific course page inside our platform. But it starts and ends inside the platform, but the main core face-to-face -face training, it runs during the, the, the live environment. This is the main areas that we actually have the most uh, participants. As you see, it's law enforcement again, serious and organized crime, cyber-related crime, fundamental rights, Europol. This is all synthetic drugs has to do with law enforcement, so it's very dedicated to our environment. And the reason that we selected firstly Moodle and then Moodle Workplace because it's an advanced version that we wanted to make it even more um, professional for us. According to EU uh, regulations, we work uh, officially with open source uh, uh, platforms. So we started with the Moodle. This was the older version that we have. And then when we wanted something more professional, we went to Moodle Workplace that we actually could uh, dis uh, dim, divide our uh, users inside the platforms. So it was very important to go to a more advanced solution with more advanced uh, reporting and a more uh, structured organization inside. The platform, as I said, is very customized. These are the main, as, as we can say, customization we have, starting from the registration process that is actually connected with the organizational structure. Uh, inside the platform, all the actions are connected with the way that the organizational structure is uh, uh, it's uh, arranged, I found it. So um, what we have is around Europe, we have a lot of lead managers working in uh, EU member states and also organizations that work with us. So they are responsible for approving and uh, allowing the users inside or rejecting depending the reason. So I will start by showing how it is the registration process, they have to, for, to fill in a form with specific fields and explaining the reason in order to register. And this email is sent first a confirmation firstly to the user and then the responsible lead manager has to approve the process in order to allow access. Depending from which is uh, the European country organization, it might have a restricted role inside the platform, meaning that although can get in the platform, we will not be able to see what we have inside or uh, search for the content, but specifically, specifically courses that are enrolled to. This is, I know it's very small, but this is how it sees so the registration. As you see, the main uh, field is the country organization, is the third field. This is the first field that actually connects everything inside our platform with the organizational structure. And this actually leads to the user to be approved or rejected to from a specific uh, lead manager. Right, right now we have 154 lead managers across Europe. Um, this is, uh, as you see, the page that we actually applied now the multi-factor authentication. So when you try to add your credentials, you get an email with a code, and then you have to add it in order to be able to verify it in, in getting the platform. We don't have it for all our users, but only for our high-level users that have more capabilities inside the platform. This is our mobile app. As I said, it's a branded app, so it is actually having to do with all the upgrades of the platform goes also to the mobile, as you see. But it works mainly for our users. It doesn't have the upgraded capabilities that we would like to hear for managers. These are some of the integrations we have inside. For example, we have an integrated video repository where we save all the webinars that we have the recorded webinars, and this can be connected with the courses inside using the uh, material. The users also can also search in this, uh, this one from the dashboard to find with uh, specific words the webinars that they would like to find. 
Another integration we have is with EBSCO, that is for each journals and the books. Again, we have a specific co contract uh, with uh, um, titles that have to do with law enforcement. So we don't uh, allow the users to see everything, but they can actually get inside with specific, again, words to specific titles connected to our uh, environment. Why am sorry, I went back. And what we have new also is uh, we have a global search that is um, actually replaced the main uh, Moodle search button. And this uh, global search, instead of um, searching only in the titles, it searches inside the content also. So the users can find all the information, not only from the title that was before, but even in forums, in assignments, everything that they have access to. So everything is... Uh, uh, connected with the restrictions you have. So if someone has full access in lead, can find everything. If they don't have full access, they have to be restricted. And if the, in cases we have nominations, this means that the content is very, very strict to specific people inside the platform. Again, I did something wrong. And one thing that we actually added now is we start digitalizing our official processes. This is a very big job for us because we try to replace the um, documents and the email sharing with something happening, uh, everything inside the platform. We worked for this specific exchange for at least three years, and we still do a lot of enhancements on this. We're not there yet, although it launched this year and we're very happy. We wanted to have a, a flow that is stable and the whole process run inside the platform. The documents, the nominations, the final steps were inside. Now we're trying to go to a, the second step of enhancing and put more capabilities in the same uh, uh, flow. And this, this is the second one that is prepared for us. We actually created the specifications working with our internal stakeholders, the business teams that are interested, specifically for these are on-site um, activities. We created mock-ups. We worked a lot on this to find the fine-tuning, and we expect the development phase to start in the next year, 2024. And as you, you heard before, the tenancy is in the model workplace. This is an important aspect also for us. We have already two in uh, launched uh, officially. This is the International Cooperation Projects. That is a, a partner company of CIPOL working with us. And here specific topics that are actually allowed to see. The users are only there. They are not allowed to see the lead. It's uh, specifically autonomous tenancies working in the same uh, server. And we also have Slovakia, that everything is translated in Slovakian languages. What we have added and what we promote to our partners is that uh, not only they have the tenancy, but they can actually translate it to the EU languages that is allowed to have inside. So um, we already have in place three uh, running in the testing environment in Portugal and uh, in other countries and uh, organizations in order to promote it. And... Uh, Finishing the whole customization, it is important to, to say why and how we support all these things. As I said before, the acronyms NLM means National Lead Managers. It's from all organizations and uh, countries are across the Europe. And um, we have working arrangements. So we do run regular training. We do have monthly online meetings with all of them. We work very closely with them. We ask them their uh, uh, feedback and we try to change whatever doesn't run for them, they are the basic stakeholders for us. We do onboarding, we have face-to-face -face meetings, individual meetings, we start micro-learning sessions, and we have a lot of short guides in order to lead them inside the whole phase. Okay. And um, another thing that we do, and it's important for us, it's a training that has to do not only anymore for the internal, but outside of us facilitating and working with our law enforcement activity managers. What it means, we actually run the trainers and experts run from the CIPOL. It's, it's specifically officials connected in different ways from the institutes around the Europe. They have to have a specific background, but doesn't mean that they have the knowledge to work with the online 
part. So we do run every year at least one of the model workshops. And what we try to succeed with this is to create quality courses based on a template that we have already created for them. So even if they're not very well in the IT skills, they can actually run by changing the XXX places we have them to change inside. So we put them what they would like to have, and they have to play around like Zenga to change what is needed to make their course. Of course, some of them are very um, good on the IT part, and they know more, so they can actually have more um, uh, access. But still, we try to have a specific template inside the courses. So we know that, for example, when it's online course, it has to have a specific way of appearing, and templates, and then the same for on-site courses and different other projects products we have. The new thing that comes for us, and it's important that has to do with actually the new strategy of the 2023 that we have, is that uh, we are going to certify anymore our participants, our facilitators, law enforcement facilitators. For this reason, we cooperated with the Moodle HQ and the Moodle Academy. We approached them and we requested to buy the material concerning the training in order to reach the MEC. And uh, the reason for this is we got the training, we added as programs inside the platforms, we worked with a specific team of law enforcement officials, the trainer experts, and we made the material to be connected with what we want fa as facilitators, the law enforcement, with specific case studies, with specific material, with specific even activities that might be more close to what we want to succeed. And of course, you know that the MEC is connected with the digital, the digital, DG, I would say, DG do comp, <laughs> and. Um, they are the, the, actual, the actually targets are there. We have the levels, and we have created the project that runs in three phases. We already actually closed the first phase, acquainted, and transfer, transferred the material in what we wanted as law enforcement. Now we are training the first six facilitators, law enforcement facilitators for us, and we expect for the next phase in 2024 to be able to run it in all law enforcement environment, universities and uh, uh, organizations will cooperate. This is our official program. So we have the beginner's level, the Moodle workshop course, as you see before, that is the basic one. Then we work with the digital teaching basis program, that is five courses that are connected, of course, with uh, the Moodle Academy courses. Then we have the intermediate level. We have instructional design a course that we have created internally for uh, basic other learning, so we actually give them information of what we want them to succeed. And then we work with the digital teaching skills program, again, based on the Moodle Academy. The aim is not only to understand what Moodle can do, we want them all to be trained enough so they understand in a platform the way, the good way of thinking how to actually have a digital competencies portfolio correctly qualified. And of course, when they succeed on this, they go to Moodle Academy and they have to pass the MEC uh, certificate. This is very important for us because we wanted, as I said, in the target accreditation for our facilitators, and this is something that is the first one that we open in this uh, level. And uh, this is my final uh, slide. And uh, we are first to implement the Moodle Workplace. Actually, we started for the Moodle Workplace before launching because we were happy very much from the presentation and wanted to have it. So we actually started in 2019. Uh, when it just launched to use it and try to make it to become ours. We, uh, we used a lot of multi-tenancies and we have integrations, a lot inside. We have the Broadband Mobile from 2019. And um, we are very happy that we work with Moodle HQ concerning the digital competencies and we hope we are going to finish also the mobile, Broadband Mobile in more uh, structured way for our managers. And thank you very much. Do we have any questions for Asteria? Uh, so I assume that uh, ch through changing uh, regulations and laws, it's especially uh, important that uh, the documents that you have online are always up to date. So um, how do you um, take care of um, not posting outdated information to the officers? 
just to understand, what do you mean updated information about the officers? You mean about the content we use inside? Yeah, right, like laws that might change or um, okay. jurisdiction. We have changes. courses, we have, a, okay, we have a training uh, program that we work, work around the year. Actually, we gather all the information what we need to share for the next year. The courses are not always open. Okay, we have nominations. So, for example, we might work for a, a impact like serious crimes this year that we have to be very focused. These clothes, they are not available for the users. So, every year we update the material. So, we have activity managers internally that work with ex trainer experts and update the material. Also, we have some self paced courses that are available for everybody in the regular role. And for this reason, we have every year updates concerning the law. Since we are EU, we have to take very good care of what we, we share the information and also our law uh, legal team is also working with us whatever has to do with the privacy, the terms and conditions and whatever has in the platform. Thank you.